For our purposes, light travels in straight lines. But when you put glass in its way, the light can refract. This means it changes direction, because while travelling through glass, light moves slower than through the air. Imagine the beam was a tank. One side of the wheel hits the glass first and is now moving slower than the other side. Therefore, the angle of the beam changes. Now, shining light through a curved piece of glass does the same thing. Think of a magnifying glass. The beams are refracted to angle the light to a point. Lenses and the human eye work in the same way. This is also how diopters work, but we'll come back to that later. By pulling focus on a lens, we adjust the glass elements inside and position the light to focus to a point. In this case, we want that point to land right on the camera's sensor. When the angle of the light does not hit the sensor at the focus point, the subject appears blurry or out of focus. Light travels through the glass of a lens and is directed to the camera sensor where the image we see in front of us is projected. However, light going into glass at a more extreme angle has a harder time passing through. Think of sunlight hitting water. Even if it's sunny outside, it's always a lot darker underwater. This is because a lot of the light is being reflected back at the surface. It's easier for light to travel through the surface when it's directly above it. The same principle applies when you think of the water as a lens. To solve this, some lenses have what's called coating. These layers of coating are put over the glass to help guide the light into the lens and stop so much of it reflecting away. You may recognise this technique when buying reading glasses. You'll always get the option to have coated or uncoated glasses. Coated glasses will cost more because they stop annoying reflections and glare. Coating stops light from bouncing about in the lens where it shouldn't be. But some people like to use uncoated lenses as an artistic choice, since this gives the image a very specific kind of look. When you look at a lens with coating on, it often has a bluey, purpley tint. The reason for this is because one of the most commonly used materials for coating is magnesium fluoride, which is ever so slightly blue in colour. You can also notice this in the lens flares that appear to have a hint of blue or purple. The reason this specific material is used is ultimately down to how well it refracts light. So, now back to diopters. These are individual lens pieces which you attach to the camera's lens in order to bring the focal point closer. This is how it works. To start off, a diopter is actually a measurement, in the same way that metres and centimetres are, except this measurement represents at what angle a piece of glass can refract light to a point. There are two main types of diopters, convex and concave. The curvature of the glass determines its optic power in diopters. These are numbered with the plus or minus sign to signify whether they bring the image closer or further away. A flat window, for example, has zero diopters, as it doesn't cause the light to converge or diverge in any direction. Here is an example to show where this may come in handy. Our subject is as close to the camera as it can be while remaining in focus. If we move them closer together, the subject's point of focus has now moved beyond the sensor and the lens we have on can't focus to that point. Therefore, our image is now out of focus. To bring it back in, we attach this convex plus two close-up diopter to the lens. Now the subject is in focus and you haven't compromised your shot. You can also get split diopters where the convex piece of glass only covers half the frame. This is where you can get creative. Someone in the foreground and someone in the background can both appear in focus if positioned correctly. 
The trick with this is to hide the distortion line in the middle where the glass cuts off. Otherwise, you end up exposing your technique. If you plan ahead, you can use almost anything to conceal that line within the frame, like with the edge of a wall, the surface of the water, a door frame. You can use anything as long as it fits into the scene. But again, this is a stylistic choice and up to the creative team. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos.